Hey everyone, the Mechanic Man here, and today I have another tool review. So right here, I have the Mako Ratcheting Bit Driver. Uh, this is the first professional professional tool that I bu ever bought. Uh, obviously, Matco. Um, yeah, I've used this whenever I worked at the dealership, and now I use this on my own car. This thing is just really awesome. So. Obviously, it's ratcheting bit driver. I believe it has 46 teeth in it, so it's pretty good. Um, there has a storage compartment so you can put the bits in. You just push that side and this side together. And now it pops a little compartment. You can fit six different bits in, so that's pretty awesome. Um, this button right here has it at an angle so that you can get more leverage and torque so that's pretty cool right there uh it has a forward motion so tightening and then slide this to the middle position and then it's just like a regular screwdriver bit driver no ratcheting motions at all and then you go over again and then it's loosening um right here is magnetic so when you put a fast or a bit in it it snaps in and then it won't fall off so it's magnetic, uh, there's a little knurling right here so when you're uh, doing stuff you can also do it by hand too, that way, well you can like, go, I would say go faster, it goes pretty fast, uh, sorry I have a cold right now, <laughs> um, so yeah let me uh, show you a demonstration of how this works. Okay, so right here I have the corner of my uh, Harbor Freight tool cart. So, 10 millimeter socket. And, yeah, helps get it out sooner if there's like no ratcheting motion in it because it's just too loose. So, there we go. Pops it all right out. No. Oops. Let's put it in a little bit. Now, so I want to get a little bit more torque, so I just put on the angle. Now, get a lot more leverage in there. So yeah, this is the uh, Matco ratcheting bit driver. Fortunately, I could not find a um, model number or anything on this, or any identification saying what it is exactly. Um, so I can't find one for you. Um, to be honest, I think I paid maybe $35 to $40 on this. Um, yeah, uh, I love this. I, even if this breaks, I don't think I will ever get a replacement because this is the first professional tool I ever bought and it means a lot to me that I that this was the first one. So, yeah. Um, this gray right here is like a rubberized feeling so that you can get extra grip. And the red is just a hard plastic obviously metal but uh so yeah um follow me on facebook facebook.com slash the mechanic man 92 um like uh share subscribe have a good day